Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel. Uh, appreciate you watching the video and hitting play. Sorry about the wind today, it's a little windy, but uh, you know what, this is a really special day for me. Uh, this is my last studio sleeper that I will sell this year. <laughs> I have more coming, uh, but I wanted to show this truck to you guys. A very special truck, a very special project, a very special build. Um, you know how sometimes in life, and sorry, I'm gonna ramble here for a minute, but you know how sometimes in life you, uh, things just get mundane and, and old and you just get grow tired of doing the same thing and uh, I know I'm dealing with that off and on and, and things just get kind of stale and COVID isn't helping, but uh, you know what? This truck and this project has been such a fun piece for me to work on. And uh, a big part of it is because the owner of this truck, Curtis Ty, uh, allowed me to have some creative direction in putting this truck together. So. I'd love to show you some of the ideas that I did and some of the options that are on here. So thanks for listening. Uh, a little bit longer ramble intro, but uh, this truck is not mundane, not ordinary. It's very, very specialized. This truck is not mundane, not ordinary. It's very, very specialized. So here it is. This is a 2021 W900L Studio Sleeper, 280 inch wheelbase. There it is in all its glory. I drove it out here. This is kind of a special spot for some special trucks. I know we just did a truck here for Jamie Grant a few, uh, few weeks back, but I wanted to uh, bring this truck uh, here to, to showcase, get some nice pictures. The sun is setting here shortly and it is a freezing cold day, but I wanted to show it, uh, show it here. So let's uh, kind of go over some of the some of the customizations, some of the things that we've done. Starting off with the paint. Now, if it was a little bit sunnier, sunnier uh, I'd be able to show you guys, but this is a paint called Black Red Effect. Uh, I don't know if you can tell here, but there is a red metal flake in that paint. And the reason why we did that and kind of went with the black and red theme, you'll notice these tanks are also painted and you can kind of pick up the sparkle in there. That is legendary red. And then we have the legendary red uh, painted on the def tank cover and the frame as well. So 
we got the, the black paint with a red metal flake. That way they kind of tie in, but yet they're different. They contrast each other. So looking up here at the front, we put on the JW Speaker LED headlights, heated headlights. So those are right in there. Uh, I put in the seven ribs on the front here. So you added the four extra on the front grill. Uh, this Swan is actually a special request. Part was dropped off by Curtis himself. Uh, he wanted to put that on for his daughter. Uh, his daughter always remembered sitting in Curtis's tr trucks and looking out at the Swan. And so he wanted to have that in there just uh, as a reminder. And just, uh, yeah, as a way just uh, to honor his daughter, I guess. Uh, so I'm sure she'll be happy to, to see that on there. Uh, on the bumper here, uh, this is where I kind of got in a little bit creative. We went with the uh, aftermarket 20 inch uh, drop bumper, uh, the 45 ends, the sides are 45, and then we got the dark amber glass watermelon lights on there. So those are glass lenses. Took a little bit of uh, hunting around for shift products to find those for us, but we got them. And uh, tow hook uh, plugs, your license plate holder right there. On the front axle here, we have the Durabrites, uh, the, the buffed finish. We put on the, the nuts and moons on there as well. We have the Michelin X-Line Energy on the steer axle and the steer axle is rated for 13.2. We'll open up the hood and show you what's underneath there shortly. Uh, up here we have the Kenworth Bug turn signal light. It is a proprietary shift product <coughs> option there. So we got the dark amber lens on the front and then the red on the back and those are both glass as well. Kept it nice and clean on this side no elephant ears. Uh, we still have to put some covers over top of there. Uh, they're sitting at, at my office. I just remembered now. <laughs> Gotta get that put on shortly. So anyways, that's gonna be on there after. I'll maybe uh, throw some pictures on at the end. Uh, we put on a shift uh, panel right here, just a chrome piece, just to kind of cover it up. And then we have the 15 inch air cleaners with the, uh, the bolts mounted on the inside. So like I showed you before, that uh, is like so, that's how you get access. You pop that down and then give it a twist. Now down here we put the, the stainless steel uh, polished cover and then the closeout panel. Those come standard with a studio sleeper. So you basically have to get that with the studio. And then we did the, pal the polished battery box uh, and the polished uh, DPF box on the opposing side. Now here we have the shift products uh, LED lights and those are actually red just to kind of tie everything in so you got the red underglow uh, underneath this the cab and sleeper panels and then uh, this piece here just look how nice that is that's all one piece and uh, it's got a nice little bend right in there just to kind of tuck in follow these lines from the factory it just looks really sharp the attention to detail that ship products does is just second to none just beautiful uh, I had the fuel tanks painted. Uh, I had them done locally in Winnipeg here and uh, did a really sweet job of that. Uh, legendary Red, like I said, seven inch straps and those are 150 gallon tanks and you'll notice the def tank is behind. Uh, the tanks themselves line up and then we added the def tank right there. So just kind of how Curtis wanted that laid out. We did uh, obviously the windows and the bunk doors, that's standard with the studio sleeper. And then the 54 inch tall uh, by seven inch wide uh, tailpipes on the top there. Now on the back side of the air cleaner, we have these shift lights again as well with the LED light bar, the strip lighting, which looks really cool. Gotta love it. Uh, so looking on the back here now, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did an Instagram post a little while ago saying, hey, I got this project truck. I'm not gonna show anything about it uh, to you guys. It's just really private. Uh, I was showing you guys the, the lights that kind of come out here that I really don't like. Uh, so we had those removed and we painted the 
uh, frame in behind where it was. Uh, just removed them, wanted to clean that up just so it's a nice clean, uh, clean look. And uh, on top of that, as you can see here, we put on the stainless steel deck plate, uh, which is a really nice addition here. That was uh, kind of something Curtis wanted to do. Curtis doesn't know I did this, but we put on this, uh, the airline and electrical line box. So this is really nice. You have seen them recess sometimes, and I was gonna do that. I was advised, uh, the guys, uh, we kind of discussed it, and uh, if it's below and f below and everything looks kind of flush, it can build up with snow and, and rain and not really a great thing to do up in this uh, neck of the woods. So that's kind of how we did a, a raised box there. And then uh, the pogo stick actually went across here uh, and the clamps were mounted here. So those clamps, we had to paint the frame underneath where those, uh, those uh, clamps were because it was black underneath there. So we cleaned that up as well. Shift supplied and installed these uh, deep drop stainless steel half fenders. Just looks really sick. Oh, speaking of drop, <laughs> I totally forgot to mention. We dropped the front end on this too. It has a five inch, uh, five inch drop on the front. And then uh, I had the, the front axle lowered down even further just to slam it right down a little bit lower. Now, when you do that, and we also did a full three axle alignment again after the fact. Uh, these bolts here get uh, scratched up when you're making adjustments on the fifth wheel or uh, the alignment. So I actually had those repainted again just to clean that up and make sure that everything is nice and tidy. What do you guys think? Uh, hey, something I want to say. I have a lot of people watch these videos. Uh, take one minute, like not even take 10 seconds, take one second right now, click that thumbs up, give the video a like. I sure would appreciate that. I get 30,000, 40,000 views on videos and like 500 likes. I'd like to see more likes, just gets me a little bit more exposure on the channel. Would sure appreciate it if you did that. And again, if you haven't, hit subscribe. Thanks a lot. Uh, back to the truck. All right, so some other things I took some liberties on doing. Uh, the brackets here, these were black, and uh, when we had these picked up from Shift, I didn't really like how it was red frame, black, and then stainless. So I had this, uh... oh, that bolt is not tight. Oh, they're missing a nut there. We gotta fix that up. Anyhow, uh, I literally just picked this up here today. So uh, anyways, I had this bracket painted uh, legendary red like the, frame. Same thing with the front. This is a blind mount. Uh, so this here hangs down below here. I had that painted because that was black as well. And it kind of stood stood out like a sore thumb. Just want to look nice and clean, nice and factory looking. Now this is a no lube fifth wheel FW31 with an eight inch riser and a 36 inch slider on the fifth wheel there. As far as the back end here, ho oh, oh, ho, here we go. Shift products, once again, they're outdoing themselves. We put on the tailboard with the glass lenses down here. And then uh, look at that, nice little Shift products license plate cover. Now there is an LED right there for the license plate as well. As far as the rear axle here, we have the Dana Spicer DSH-40Ps. So it has an oil pump on the diff. And look at these lights here. Um, now, if you remember on Jamie Grant's truck, we did watermelon lights all in the frame and Curtis wanted to have more of a glow as opposed to a, uh, uh, a watermelon light, uh, more kind of a spot. So this gives a little bit more of a glow, more even. Uh, so it'll show up really nice when, once that sun sets. But uh, there's lights all underneath here. So we got some right here, uh, got some up there and uh, all along the front of the truck. Now we also put disc brakes on the back here, so it's disc front and back. Now on this side here, not much to see aside from uh, the fact that we removed that uh, marker light and uh, just painted this all in so it's all nice and factory looking, nice and clean. What do you guys think? Now on the back wall, we did the glass lens. These are the... Uh, the load lamps, but uh, they come factory white and we just changed them out after the fact just to, to have it like this. So a little bit of features there. Uh, we have here 150 gallon fuel tank as well with the 
with the underglow lighting. And then same thing here under the DPF box right there. So what a nice truck. It's just so clean looking, so clean. Now looking up top, before we open up the hood here, we have the dark amber, the dark uh, amber marker lights up on the roof. And then the forward bow tie visor on the truck. Just amazing. So this is the nicest truck that I have ever sold, bar none. Um, the customizations that have been done after the fact, uh, the added paint, dropping the front axle, all the extra lights, and just, uh, I've really enjoyed this project, uh, having some creative liberties to add and change things and, and do things how, how I think I'd like it to be. But uh, let's take a look at what we got in here for power plant. All right, so as you would expect, it is the Cummins X15. It is a 505 and the horsepower rating, uh, sorry, the torque rating is 1850. Uh, so that's basically what we got going on underneath there. Now this truck will be hauling reefer. Oh, doing five axle work. Probably the nicest five axle truck uh, that I've ever sold. And uh, we have the added supports right here for the fenders. We talk about that all the time. Uh, remote lube terminal, the boosting terminals as well. Now, some of the things that we painted underneath here when we dropped the front end, the U-bolts there, those were black. We repainted those. Uh, the shackle right here, this was changed. That was painted again as well. And then some of the components here, the bolts and stuff, they were, uh, I just told them, touch them up. We had to redo the shocks just because they were spun around and uh, just painted them all up. So it's nice and clean all underneath there. Just looks absolutely gorgeous. Take a look on the other side. So we put on a uh, factory installed S-Bar heater and then a uh, we installed the uh, Webasto heater for the engine uh, right there. So that's uh, something that we added at the store. And uh, on this side, this is the turbo, of course. And then we got, like I said, disc brakes right there. So that is kind of the outside of the truck. Kind of shows some of the the beauty that we have out here but what really makes this truck nice is some of the touches that uh, we've done on the inside so the sun is setting i want to get a few more pictures before the sun is gone and uh, i'll do the interior tour here right away so i'll meet you back in the truck here in a second
All right, so here we are inside the truck here. It's uh, starting to get a little bit darker out. I think we maybe didn't get the sunset I was hoping for, but uh, that's all right. We will uh, make do. So looking at the interior here, I don't know if this light is uh, good or bad. Okay, we'll leave it off for now. So these are just the factory lights. So, wow, what uh, what makes this truck a little extra special? There's, uh, there's some things. We'll start down here on the floor and I will turn the lights on for this here. Uh, Curtis dropped off a box of goodies and uh, had our shop install these. Look at the clutch pedal and uh, throttle and the brake. Just uh, really neat, uh, some of the custom custom work there. And you'll notice too, the, the pleating here on the steering column, uh, that can only mean one thing. Uh, that's the Seattle package. So, the truck has the full black interior, black buttons, Seattle package all throughout. So the extra padding up here, down there, up on here, on the sides as well. Uh, sorry about uh, the newspapers. Uh, we still are waiting for something special. So Shift Products makes custom carpet floor mats. Uh, I had them custom order them with a red stitching where their shift logo, which is normally green, uh, they ch it's, it's red or wine colored. Uh, so those might be in, I'm hoping for Monday when uh, customer Curtis is coming down to pick them up. So we'll see, but that's uh, why we got these papers on the floor for now. Uh, so these here, this is just the uh, quick couplers for the airlines uh, for the back there. So anyways, we'll just leave those there for now. But uh, take a look at the dash here and the steering wheel. So this is a VIP steering wheel. So it's something that uh, we changed out at the dealership. And uh, I had, when we did the tanks, we painted these uh, additional panels and those are on there. So it looks really nice. And that is also legendary red. So you can see that sparkle uh, just looks really, really good. I believe uh, when we drop the front end, ABS and uh, or traction control light came on, so we just got to get that figured out before the truck leaves. But uh, anyhow, that's uh, just parts of the joys of trucking, check engine lights and stuff. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, on the front axle here, or the front here, we did the full gauge package all the way across, so no navigation, full gauges, full switches, full lockups. There's the cruise control. Uh, there is the air suspension dump, Jake brake, hazards, air slide. Auxiliary lights. Oh yeah, that's for the air breather lights. So that's right down there. And uh, those are uh, fog lights are not actually hooked up. And then PTO switch and the DPF switch over there. Uh, down here is the heat controls. And then we got that logbook holder down here. Uh, and that just uh, is just a little clipboard that goes in there like so. Uh, down below here, some additional switches. I'll just turn the light on here for a second. Uh, these are the actual uh, underglow lights and then the back cab lights. And then uh, that's to adjust the brightness of the dash. And then there's the interior lights, uh, the air traction control switch, and uh, there's the sleeper lights as well. So that's all there. That's a little bit about the front side here. Uh, what you guys all want to see, I'm sure, is the studio bunk. But before we go back there, I'll just show you the seat here. Uh, we have the heated uh, air cushion premium plush plus national seats, black leather, and uh, it has all the lumbar supports, the height adjustment, and uh, there is the uh, cup holder right there. All right, so back to this here. So with the Studio Sleeper, you get basically this additional uh, panel right here. So that's an additional, uh, actually maybe leave the light on. Yeah, there you go, it's better. Uh, just additional as opposed to the 72, the 72 bunk, this is what you have with the studio sleeper. You get this additional uh, closet. And with this, the, the studio package, sorry, the Seattle package, uh, all of this additional uh, material, the VIT material gets put on the doors, on the interior here, down on the, the cupboards, down below, on the fridge and all around the cab. Just looks really, really awesome. Can't quite close this here. I have the, uh, the takeoff uh, steering wheel. So yes, we give the old parts back to the customer so he can 
do what he wants with them after the fact. Just leave that in there for now. Actually, you know what? I'll put that down on the floor, down below, underneath there. So you got lots of storage underneath there. Uh, there is the heater for the bunk, and uh, we plumb in the, that's where the uh, factory uh, S-bar heater goes through as well. Uh, that's all underneath the bed here. And then up above is the upper bunk, so you have uh, additional bed up there. This is a spring mattress, and that is a foam mattress as well. Uh, so that is a little bit about the interior. I am going to head outside and do a few more pictures of this truck with uh, all the lights lit up and uh, dark enough to get some nice shots. So let's, uh, let's do that. so that's it for me that's it for this week's video on this beautiful beautiful truck by far the nicest truck that i have ever put together uh, so a big thank you to curtis ty for putting your trust in me to build you this truck and then once the truck showed up basically give me you know a blank check to put all these options on it for you so uh appreciate you you giving me that opportunity it's a, been a fun privilege to to do so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you want to subscribe to this channel uh, I'd sure appreciate it if you did that you can just click on that subscribe button in the bottom corner there uh, make sure you click off that bell that way on your phone you'll get notified when new videos come out uh, also uh, if you want to check out what we have in stock I have uh, a stu some studio sleepers that are custom ordered coming in for inventory uh, if you're in Canada here and you're looking at new trucks, give me a call. You can click up here. You can go to my website, thekenworthguy.com, uh, and you can see what we have coming in. I have 72 inch bunks. I have flat tops, high bunks, and studio sleepers and W9Ls, and lots of other specs as well. If you want a custom order, I can help you with that too. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for being part of the Kenworth Guy community. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.